Let's see here. Got that. Got that. All right. Welcome to a new show of Just Create. I'm your host, Thomas Duran, and founder and owner of TD Films. And uh, so welcome to beautiful San Diego, the place where the TNC conference is going on right now. And a lot of, a lot of your huge social influencers are here, uh, the who's who's crowds here. It's pretty, pretty amazing what's going on right now. And so first year here, and I'm really, really excited. Uh, see who we can meet, who we could talk with. Now it is just intense, it's insane, but it is awesome. So with that being said, I wanted to bring you guys along and kind of capture some of the essence here of TNC and what you might have missed out. And so next year, you guys could come and join. But, uh, but with doing so, there's a couple of devices that I'm gonna bring. I wanted to kind of show you guys how it doesn't matter what camera or what setup you have, you're gonna be able to create very dynamic, uh, content and dynamic dynamic video no matter what you have you do not have to be an expert so today to show you that I'm going to be using the GoPro which I'm filming on right here right now which is about a $500 $500 value and I'm going to be shooting on the Osmo this is a beautiful device It's made by DJI DJI same company that makes all the drones that everyone is so famous with um, it's a great device it's about 500 bucks as well um, but it gives you the gimbal and it just gives you that smooth silky motion that uh, that we all come to love and and we all come to love and know I want to show you that you could just create content with whatever if you are running a business and you're not creating content right now what are you doing what you waiting for I mean are you really running a business if you don't use video in it you got to have it so let's get this show on the road as they may say and uh, Let's get going. Come on. <clears throat> It'll probably be good if I took this with me. thing I haven't had yet is my coffee. Time for some coffee. Myself. However, once in a while you come across colleagues and friends that are really pretty damn good themselves. And look who I found right here. How's it going? Bam, this is Noel Nissel from MGN Pictures. Dude, welcome man. Or hey, I uh, 
What do you think of this so far? I love it. Yeah. I'm excited to see what it comes out to be. Yeah. And this better make it. <laughs> <laughs> Norman and I go a long time, and uh, this guy pushes me always to be able to be creative, inspire, and just it's his his work is is tremendous. But uh, what have you gotten out so far so far with this uh, this shindig here? Yeah. You know what? Um, I just attended uh, John Lee Dumas of all people talking about podcasts. Dude, is, I was just there. Yeah, I, I was looking I was for you. I was literally just there. I was looking for what the you. Where, where, where was I, the hell? I climbed in the back. I was gonna text you. It was like near the end. But uh, but no, I mean it's it's you talk about creating. It's all about creating and find people, even if it's like the same market. Like yeah, we do the same thing, but uh, you can push each other. So um, exactly, there's, there's huge value now. The the field that we're in, that we're in, the one of the best things that I think possibly can have is that we never look at each other as competition but as collaborators. Collaborators. Does that collaborators. matter? Collaborators. They get it. Collaborators. You get what I'm trying to say. But uh, collaborate together. There you go. There you <laughs> go. And that's what makes us successful. That's what continues us to grow. So one of the things I always kind of tell people going, do not be afraid to work with other people. This is not a competition thing. You help each other out. You help each other grow. And this right man is what helped me get started when I started my business. And, that's right. And, uh, and vice versa. So, a lot of efficiency. Tons. <laughs> More than you can handle. So anyway, go. I gotta go get some lunch. I'm starving. Yeah. Hey, what's up, guys? Look who I found. That's right, Kix Ronan from Kickstagram. What's up, episode guys? Episode two. What's going on, man? How, How you doing? Sure. Good, good. So, dude, how's this conference going? Good. I, it's my favorite conference by far. Yeah, I just learned, always learning a lot. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's pretty crazy. It's my first time here, and I know I'm in beautiful San Diego, so I couldn't, you know, not come here and not see our friends from Kickstagram, you know what I'm saying? So, Thank you. Thank but, uh, hey, it's time to eat. Later. So every once in a while you come across with some uh, some average people, some very good people, and then just some beautiful people. This is the latter, the beautiful people, right here. Right here. Wes Schaefer, the sales whisperer himself. Now what are you going to do with this editing? I, yeah. I don't trust anything. <laughs> I don't know what he just said before this because I don't trust the editing. Bro, you know, you can trust me. I'm only gonna make you like. That's why I secretly record everything he does in the background. <laughs> so let's sync up and see if my version matches his version. <laughs> hey, look, I promise you this is gonna be good. No, it's uh, it's a, it's a, this guy right here is just absolutely amazing what he does. Talks to you about how to uh, sell, but sell with relationships, sell with passion, sell with. With, with dignity and, and, and style. It's just, it's really amazing. His courses that he does. And, um, you have a podcast too, don't you? What's your podcast? The Sales Podcast. Simple enough. See, that's why I like this guy. He just keeps it simple. I'm a simple man. And he's a good man too. Very good man. But, uh, Man, I love seeing all everyone meeting here, and I can't wait to get back home and take the knowledge that we're learning today. But uh, on that note, let's go, go see up. what else is out there. Go apply what you learn. Now go sell something. I love it. Yeah, so anyway, I mean, there's just vendors upon vendors, but um, a lot of these breakout sessions have just been pretty amazing. Uh, a lot, of, a lot of, just a lot of material. I can't believe all the it's just different businesses that are here in the... It's nuts. It's just absolutely nuts. And uh, seeing the, all the different creation that they do with with uh, tech and visuals, uh, that doesn't make any sense at all. Because I'm walking and I'm trying to talk, and at the same time, I'm not very good at it. All right, so I'm here with my boy Will, who I spent pretty much all week with. Um, but uh, I want to introduce you guys to everybody. We do it. Uh, start. With it. Dude, even I made mistakes. Yeah, he sucks. <laughs> it sucks. All right, hey guys, this is my buddy Will right here, and uh, he's from Capsule Five. Um, it's a guy that I've been rooming with, been hanging out with all week long. But buddy, uh, tell me, this TNC conference, how how you how how have you been finding it valuable for yourself right now? Well, first of all, this is my second TNC conference. I think it's the most valuable conference I go to on a yearly basis. Um, 6,000 plus businesses and agencies and, and everybody involved in the digital marketing realm. Um, 
probably the most valuable thing for me is just the connections and the networking. Um, being able to connect with people that I might be able to help them and they might be able to help me as well. Uh, being able to strengthen some relationships, some key, key relationships, and I think those are some of the most valuable takeaways before you even get into sessions. My man, so here's the thing. The, one of the reasons why I find this guy, I, I, I literally look up to this guy is because of his drive. This guy's drive is like no other that you'll ever meet. He always wants to be successful, but successful with, because he wants to help out other people. He wants to live a great life. Uh, he wants to help his family, help his friends. Um, he just has this goal. So tell me, where, where did that drive come from and, and what is it about it that keeps you going and going? So tell us a little bit about that. Uh, I mean, I don't know. That's a, that's a loaded question. Oh uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> I think it's just, that's just kind of life. I, uh, I think, you know, if a job's worth doing, it's worth doing right. Um, I think if you're gonna do something, do it great. And I think if you do anything short of trying to be the best at what you do, then you're not living life to the fullest. I freaking love that. I love that. You gotta check out what I just found here. Look at this. Look at this. It totally got laying down off here. I'm gonna have to see what this is like. Oh, Ooh. Well, that's, that's some solid work here. Man, it's been a long week. It's been a long week. And, uh, but uh, I have like three big takeaways that uh, I really taken from this conference. And it's just, it's just been, first of all, it's been intense. It's been amazing. A lot of great speakers, a lot of great knowledge. But the three biggest takeaways I got out of was number one, uh, information overload. And so what I mean by that is that you really need, you really want to make sure you come with clarity on what your business needs are, what you're really, what you're, things that you want to improve on your business and how a lot of this tech can help you. So there are so many different software systems, so many different applications that are, and, and in all honesty, there's a lot of redundancy of it here. Tons of, tons of great companies and booths, but they all are essentially doing the same thing. So you just have to find what works for you. Um, and you also have to be clear on what is, what you are wanting to do this year in that step. So like for me, uh, marketing is one of the biggest things that I need to get done, but like what source of marketing I want to use. And I kind of came with the idea that I really want to start utilizing the tool of LinkedIn uh, because I think there's a lot of great opportunity there to market my services out there. And so I went to a uh, seminar uh, with this guy that does that. Uh, he's basically the LinkedIn guru of things. And so it was really interesting to hear and listen on how they utilize that for other people's businesses and how, what their services are. So, uh, so that, was, that was one takeaway. Uh, the second takeaway is, 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 and I think this is so invaluable, the amount of networking and people you meet here, you get to socialize. Everyone here is really wants to know who you are, want to know your story, and find out how that can, how, how your services can help with their services. You know, people want to do collaboration. People want to meet other people in different industries, so to see how that's going to help them out as well. So, and how their industry can help you out personally as well. So, I can tell you what the new relationships I got to meet this week have just been invaluable and has been amazing. That alone has been worth it from coming here. It has been great. It's been great hearing people just come up to me and ask me what what that camera was or or what are you doing, you know, you know that type of thing and so and then also just talking about what you do. And I love sharing that story. So, it has been it has been absolutely invaluable. So, the networking part has just been great. The third biggest takeaway and this is one of my favorites is that I, I'm leaving this conference feeling extremely excited, rejuvenated, uh, and pumped on what we're creating here with this show. And that's, called, and that's the third takeaway, which is just create. Everyone here has some type of tech solution, data solution, CRM solution, and uh, it's all great but it's all how to like be able to use the content that you need to be created. And so, you know, the biggest takeaway is just, just create. Like none of all this tools and things are, use, are useful unless you create some type of content. And, and that being some type of media or really focus on is video. 
And that's what's been kind of really awesome is that almost every guest speaker that's been out there has talked about using video for their business and how to use video for their business. And these are people that don't know how to actually shoot video. They're just saying, you need to use video and, and however that may be. And so I, I think it's, a, it's an exciting time for, for video creators. It's an exciting time for businesses because you can step away from the whole data, analytical side, the order side, and get real creative and have fun being able to create dynamic storytelling videos. And so I'm very excited because that's the mission that I have here. Uh, for this show. Yeah, so those are the three biggest takeaways. And I would, I'm really excited, I'm really tired, but uh, I'm ready to head out on. So on that note, talk to you guys soon.